Okay, your basic textures are going to be powers of 2. You can have powers of 2 like 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024 by 1024. Generally, all these textures are going to be squares, so that's all you have to really worry about. Then you save the file as a JPEG, a PNG, or a TGA. Save it to somewhere you can find it. From there you open the uh, VTF edit, you import it, find the file, use the one that says alpha for ones that have transparency, use the one that says non-alpha for ones that don't have transparency. You know, generally want to have mitmaps on, uh, the rest of this doesn't really matter. Uh, you check your thing, see it works, you save it. Every texture file has to have a uh, definition file telling you have to where the file resides, what surface properties it has, for what sound it makes when you shoot it, when you stand on it, and stuff like that. So that's important to add, and you can just use this uh, tool to do that. And save it in the same directory. From there you go to your custom folder, you make a new folder with your, uh, uh, just any name is fine, just as long as you know what it is. And you make a new folder that says materials. Inside that folder you can make an organization folder, that's fine, or you can just drop it in. Uh, but whatever you do, you have to update the definition file to uh, make sure it knows where the file is now. You put it in, you test it, if it's broken, find out what you broke about it. In this case, what I broke was I actually put in the materials file. Uh, TF2 auto and Hammer automatically look at the materials file, so I didn't need to write that. So I just removed that from the um, definition file and move on with my life. It'll update in Hammer. Uh, TF2 uh, textures, if you're in-game, will actually have to uh, have a reload. So if you've done that, do that. And there you go, your texture works.